Hey, what is up guys? This is Scott for Snipe 5 here with the unboxing and review of Nerf's Vendetta Sword. This is a 2-in-1 uh, sword package. It's pretty cool and it connects in the middle as so to make it into a dual blade. So it's just a quick look at the box here. I also have a Vantage Sword unboxing review coming up, so stay tuned to my channel for that as well. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and get right into the unboxing. So I actually got this product over a year ago and this unboxing video is that's why it's a little bit lower quality because I had an older camera but I remember this being an incredibly long unboxing. They packaged this thing really tightly so you have to like cut every string and tape there is to finally get these swords out of the box and I believe I bought this on Amazon at the time for around $40 so this is probably one of their most expensive um, product in their Enforce lineup of swords and axes and things of that nature. But anyway, I think it's really worth it because it's a dual blade and it connects in the middle like that. It's pretty cool. With both blades out of the box, let's go ahead and get on to the review portion of this video. Now with both blades connected, it spans almost 5 feet long, 53.5 inches to be exact. Its overall dimensions for one blade is 27.5 inches with a hilt length of 7.5 inches and a blade length of 20 inches. And now here's a quick length comparison to the Vantage Sword as well as a typical lightsaber of the Ultimate Effects line. As you can see, it is shorter than both to compensate for the dual blade length. Now moving on to the design, it is a very nicely detailed for a toy. Of course, it does have the necessary text to you know indicate that it is a toy. However, they do keep it to a minimum and it doesn't distract from the look of the sword at all. However, I do wish that it was a little bit uh, more precise in the printing. As you can see, it's a little bit off center on this particular blade. However, I really do like the overall look of this blade. The blue and silver design really makes it stand out. The sword is pretty much made entirely of foam with an inner plastic cord extending from the base of the hilt to where the blade tapers off to maintain the shape. It is also very well weighted and it feels very comfortable in the hand. The hilt has a good amount of grip and the foam is also dent resistant to prevent the foam from breaking off upon impact and it maintains the look of the sword much longer. Connecting the two blades is pretty simple as well. You just give it a slight off angle turn and then twist and it'll snap into place. Its connection is pretty solid in my opinion. However, because of the length of the dual blade, it does flex slightly if you apply a, a decent amount of pressure, but it really isn't that difficult. And to remove, you just press the uh, plastic buttons both on both sides at the same time and then twist it again and release. On just a little side note, I did notice that the sword with the plastic protrusion is slightly heavier and it thus has a better weight distribution. So I would recommend holding this sword in your dominant hand if you're going to use this for dueling. My overall thoughts on the Nerf Enforce lineup is pretty positive. I think they have accessories that are great for both cosplay and sword play. However, I do have some suggestions to improve the product a little further. First of all, I would like the handle portion to be made of a more sweat and oil resistant material instead of the usual foam. After all, you really don't expect to hit anybody with this portion of the blade. So it would be nice that you can make it out of a slightly different material to make it last a little longer. After all, that part is the portion that receives the most wear. I also would suggest to use a different kind of glue since over time it yellows and it does look rather ugly. So now just with my final thoughts of this product, I think this is a great buy if you can get it for under $40. It's great for both children and adults cosplaying and dueling because of both its aesthetics and its functionality. The one thing I do want to note is that even though it is a Nerf foam product, it will still hurt more than just a typical foam sword because of the inner plastic core. So just do keep that in mind if you do buy this for a child. But other than that, I really, really do like this sword. I would recommend it again if you can get it for a good deal of a price under $40. Well, that will do it for me for this review. Stay tuned for my channel for my uh, review of the Vantage sword, actually, and several other lightsaber videos coming up on Skyforce 95. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give it a like and thank you for watching.